Formal na kampiyon ang kanilang koponan sa katatapos na UAAP Season 76 at isa siya sa nagbigay ng magandang laban sa naturang kompetisyon. Ngayong umaga, ating kilalanin ang Lasal Green Archers point guard na si L.A. Revilla. Our coach, like, they did really a good job on like, controlling our emotions and like, keeping our minds uh, like, on, on the same page. Ba talaga maging isang basketball player? Yes, ever since I was ever since I was a child, dream to maging basketball player. And then, nung medyo towards high school, I dreamt of uh, playing in the pro. How old ka ba nang nag-start ka mag-basketball? Nag-start ako, sige mga five or six around uh, that time. That, yun yung time na may hawak na ako ng bola parate. Tapos, I knew na ito na yun. This is, for, this is the sport for me. Bakit ka nag-decide na pumunta sa Lasal? Meron ka bang ibang school na kinonsider? It, it was my dream rin. Uh, when I got here in, in Manila, nung high school ako, and then napapanood ko yung Lasal in UAP, sabi ko, wow, this, this team is different. Or this school is different, sabi ko. Gusto ko dito, gusto, everyone's talking about it, sabi ko. One day, sabi ko, makakapunta rin ako na. But I tried, I tried several schools then. I tried Ateneo, I tried San Beda. And then in 2009, dumating yung biggest challenge mo probably sa career kasi na-diagnose ka nga ng hyperthyroidism at diabetes. Tapos kailangan mong mag-set out ng two seasons. So parang, how did you get past this? Tapos parang nagsisi ka ba na hindi ka nakalaro for um, two years? Actually, hindi. Kasi I knew na nung nangyari sa akin yun, out of my control eh. So, I mean, hindi ko naman siya ginusto nangyari sa akin. Saka, at first nangyari ko na hereditary siya. So, sabi ko, well, I think this is, this is who I am. This is my, this is gonna be my, my life. So, sabi ko, I'll just see what happens next. So, yep, yeah, hindi ako nagsisi. So, parang positive all the way ka na? Actually, hindi naman positive all the way. Of course, syempre, may mga setbacks eh. There are times na even though I feel na okay ako, na I can play, but then some people would not let me. So, yung mga ganong, mga ganong bagay na hindi ko control. So, sabi ko, okay. So, I just trusted the people around me. Tapos recently nga, all your hard work paid off dahil kayo ang naging champ. Ano naman yung feeling na talagang last year playing for the UAAP na naabot mo tong goal na to? Uh, well, at first, when it happened, medyo... Surreal, siya. but then towards the end, uh, when I tried to look back, I said, "How many like I've in several of the matiyong alas na hindi lang isa pinangarap ko na magkaro ng championship." But then I told myself na I'm blessed enough to have one championship because and dami naman tao na hindi nakakaro ng mga opportunities. So, I said, "Nung after nung actually after nung day ng champion kami." No, medyo patagal. Siguro mga three days, after four days, five days, tinitingnan ko and look back ng mga, mga first years ko. First few years, tapos second year, sabi ko. And then now it happened uh, where like medyo papunta na rin ako sa next level. So sabi ko, it's, it's really, I'm really glad. Na. Very ulit yung timing dito sa basketball. Talagang kanya-kanya, every player, some people decide to go to D-League, yung iba diretso na sa PBA. So ikaw, nag-decide ka na after winning the championship, diretso ko na sa PBA draft. What made you decide to do this? Actually, hindi lang, hindi ko lang, hindi lang sarili ko nag-decide to that. I, I talk with my family, and of course, I talk with Coach Eric. And uh, Coach Eric really a good idea on like how how big this opportunity will be for me kapag magpa-draft ako sa, sa PBA. And then, consider ko. And then at first, hindi talaga ako ready. Sabi ko na, Coach, hindi ko napag-isipan to. Sabi ko sa kanya na I'm still planning to play next year for La Salle and even D-League, sabi ko. I think I still have a lot of things to improve, sabi ko. And sabi niya, okay, pag-isipan mo muna. Just binigyan niya ako one week. And then, actually, during the draft, that, I mean, the deadline, siguro mga one hour or two hours before, like, he called me back. Sabi niya, oh, ano? Sabi ko, I think, okay niya. Okay, sige, I'm ready. So, ano naman yung sinabi ng LaSalle teammates mo? 
Ah, uh, kasi actually kasama ko sila noon nung time na nag-decide ako nasa Bacolod kami. Tapos sila may pa-draft ako sa. Oh, pa-draft ka na sa akin. Uh, iwanan mo na kami ng sa. Medyo tapo pero ha? Happy sila. For sure, <laughs> they're happy. Like kahit ako naman like may teammate ako nang pa-draft. Advice na sa mga aspiring basketball players. Do what you love to do lang and then uh, continue getting better at it and uh, believe in yourself. Hindi pa tapos ang laban para kay patuloy ang kanyang pagsusumikap na maabot ang minimiting pangarap sa larangan ng basketball. Hanggang sa susunod na pagkilala sa mga katangi-tanging Pilipino, ako po si Carla Lizardo. Mm -hmm.